Okay, Gerson people, you're going to love this. Watch how this works. Making my Hippocrates soup. This thing has cut the time in half for me. I'll show you how this puppy works. Yep, that's all my celery. Woohoo! Let me pause, let me get some more stuff. So obviously this video is not to actually just teach you how to do the soup because I'm not even giving you measurements. In fact, I'm sort of doing it uh, to the measurements that taste good to me. I'm really wanting to show you how you can cut your thyme in half. I mean, I'm doing this with one hand, with this uh, Cuisinart 11 plus prep. It holds 11 cups and um, oh, it's amazing. So I'm just going to show it to you. Let me do my um, onions. Look, you can put an entire onion in. Turn it on. There it goes. One onion done. Two. Three onions. I'm doing a lot of onions because I don't have any leeks. Four onions. And I like the taste. onions, six onion and my garlic, then, oh so awesome, i got to empty my cup now. I'll just show you really quick, this blade is really, really tough blade, I mean it's really sturdy, so um, that's why you get such a good cut, because it's very solidly built, um, you're paying for it, it's a $150 machine. But man, it's worth every penny. Oh, and you have to snap it in order. You have to snap this in a place, and it has to snap. Then you have to get this snapped in place, too, for it to work. And then you'll have this in place. So, look, my potato, whole potato. Just do it while I'm here. Two and three. I actually might add a little bit more potato. Okay, all done. Okay, adding the rest of my potatoes. I might be able to add two. Yep, yeah, because I have red potatoes. This is potato four and five. And potato six. And uh, also show you putting these potatoes in. Do this one-handed. Hold on. These potatoes um, are cut really perfectly for making the potato puffs, which are one of my Gerson favorites. All right, hold on. So here's my soup so far. Um, I did say that you're paying for it, but you know I kind of take that back because. Um, this has made my soup, um, I'm able to cook it faster, see, because everything's so thin, it even cooks in half the time, um, an hour, and it's soft, it's ready to, to be milled, so um, really it saves a lot of time. I've literally gone down from two helpers at a time to one helper, um, and I'm doing the soup myself now. Um, which is a miracle, so um, it's, that's why I say um, it was worth it was worth springing for this for this machine. I think I think it's God's gift to me because <laughs> I had no idea that these things existed. I mean, I have a um, I have a uh, food processor, but it is not like this one, and it's about 15 years old. So, anyways, let me show you the tomatoes. And you can do sun dry on these too because it makes really nice slices on these tomatoes. I'm putting them in whole. I like to make a lot of tomatoes in my soup too. Three, four, and five. Six. Ooh, we're gonna get a full cup here, full bowl here. Seven. There you go. We're done with that. So once again, this soup is. Uh, 
uh, uh, sliced ready to cook and it will cook in half the time because it's been so sliced and uh, just a little tip for you if you put your tomatoes on top it'll everything will go better um, I found <laughs> I had to learn the hard way after like four times of having onions, you know, stuff that has a lot of fibers on top, that it uh, doesn't cook if it's not under the water really well because I get a really full pan here going. So I've tried to, tried to put the things that need more cooking on the bottom and the tomatoes on the top. <laughs> so anyway, I know that's obvious that probably everyone else knew that except for me, but um, there's my soup and um, enjoy.